I've often heard wrestling, you know, takes loops. I mean, it goes down and it goes up, you know, almost like a, you know, on, on a road. But what happens is, is that you can't kill professional wrestling. It can go on life support for a few years. You know, for those of us who grew up in Middle Tennessee and lived here in the 70s and 80s, we'll remember that it wasn't baseball or football that we talked about all the time. It was pro wrestling. Names like Jackie Fargo, Tojo Yamamoto, Nick Goulas, Jerry Lawler, Dutch Mantel, and on and on. We still remember to this day. Now, the sport that made them famous is making a big resurgence in our area again, filling up gyms and civic centers because a whole new generation is discovering pro wrestling once again. It is great to be back here in Gallatin, Tennessee. I'll tell you what, some of the matches that we're going to have here tonight are some of the best that we have signed in over a year's time. On a nice, pleasant evening in Gallatin, Tennessee, they come in droves. We're all sold out on front row. We do have general admission. It's $10 to get in. For a sport that has been around for a long time. Well, what it is here, it is... Action heroes in person, good versus evil. It is pro wrestling, not the big cable TV kind, but the kind that comes to your hometown. Well, the reason professional wrestling is coming back is because it's new again. Think about it. And if, if you're 20 years old, the only professional wrestling that you've probably ever seen is on television with WWE or TNA in a 20,000 seat arena. But years ago, wrestling had the grassroots uh, effect of, of going to small uh, venues uh, like the Gallatin Civic Center, high school gyms. That's where wrestling thrived. Vince McMahon happened to take it to a grander scale and a worldwide scale, but this is grassroots of professional wrestling right here. And for families going to see pro wrestling, moms and dads say it is a great evening for entertainment. Well, one of the reasons is it's clean fun. You know, they're going to come out and they're going to have a you know, good time and they are really going to be able to, you know, yell and get some of that excess energy off of them. So. Well, I mean, it gives the kids different things. They play outside all the time. They swim all the time. This is something we all enjoy. I mean, it is a huge family thing. These are my nephews. This is my kids and my husband. So it's a huge family thing that we can still enjoy and be nice and cool. But for wrestling super fan Betty White, Whitehead every Saturday night at the matches is her Super Bowl and it brings out her nice and mean side. Because you're not allowed to say nothing real bad language <laughs> to me little kids. That's why they want us to keep our mouth to ourselves. <laughs> Seventies and eighties, it was probably the number one spectator sport in all of America. But here in 2011, we have other things to contend with, other things to compete with the entertainment dollar, especially here in Nashville, Tennessee, where we have professional football, professional hockey, all the colleges are vying for people to buy tickets to come to their events. You've got the internet, you've got a million cable television uh, stations, so a lot more things compete for the entertainment dollar, therefore dividing the people's attention. But you know, once again, Professional wrestling throughout the many, many years has always done well in the ratings, and it will continue because it's that good old story of good versus evil. And for longtime wrestler Jeff the Crippler Daniels, he says there's one very good reason why this wrestling is making a comeback. For the longest time, everybody was so stingy and wanting to hold on to spots and not passing nothing on to the new guys, and it got real stale. But that's one thing I'm proud of. It's the class of guys that I came through with. We're all paying it forward and giving back and taking these young guys and passing the business on to them. People come for the theatrics of the grand entrance, the music, the lights. That's all part of it. But you can have all that. But once you get in the ring, anything can happen and anything goes. Any comments, Don? There are no words, Joe, Joe. There are no words. All right. Up next, we are talking Preds. Their top prospects and draft picks are all headed to the Music City this week. Details and more after the break. Stick around.